So the next iPad Pro is coming very soon and we've been informed that the iPad Pro is looking to have wireless MagSafe charging. Today I'm going to share all the details about this and the summary of what to expect with the new iPad Pro with features, design and of course the expected iPad Pro 2022 release date and price. Hi it's Matt here, so it's 2022 and we're already getting news for this year's Apple's products including the new iPad Pro M2 model. So for all the new iPad Pro videos like this one you are watching going forwards, I'm going to give you the latest details on specific leaks, then details of the planned release date time, then a summary of the models that are going to be released with all their features that we have learned in previous leaks. After, I'm going to reveal my wish list for the next iPad Pro. Also put in the comments below of what features you would like to see in the next iPad Pro and in my next video I may feature your comment and discuss my thoughts around it. But anyway, a new report has come in with a new hardware upgrade for the first time in an iPad. The new upgrade is the ability to wirelessly charge the iPad Pro models with a MagSafe charging ability. The report has come in from Mark Gurman, the Apple analyst from Bloomberg. He has claimed that Apple will be adding the iPhone style of MagSafe to the iPad Pro models to charge the devices. However, there are no details if the current iPhone MagSafe charger will be used or something different instead. In my opinion, if this does come true, I believe Apple will provide a stronger wattage and maybe a larger MagSafe for the iPad Pro range. We have to remember that the current iPhone MagSafe charger can only charge at a maximum of 15 watts for the iPhone 12 or 13 models. Right now, to charge an iPhone 13 Pro Max from 0 to 100% battery, it takes 3 hours to complete with the 4,352 mAh battery inside. Currently, the iPad Pro 12.9 inch battery is at 9,720 mAh, so you can imagine if the current iPhone MagSafe charger was used for this, it would take about 7 hours to charge from 0% to 100%, what I'm sure Apple will not accept. So I'm sure a stronger wattage MagSafe charger will come to the iPad Pro models if this does come true. So with this report, you're probably wondering why we're getting new iPad Pro reports already if we've only just had the current iPad Pro out for about six months now. Well, Apple are always working on products that they've ready to plan to come out over the next few years. They don't just release a product and then start working on the successor from scratch right after. It's just not their way. A good example of this is with the original iPad that came out in 2010, had designs and prototypes before the original iPhone in the mid 2000s. Yet the first iPhone came out first in 2007 and then the first iPad came out 3 years later. Another example in an interview in 2013 with Tim Cook when the first generation iPad Air got released. He mentioned that Steve, meaning Steve Jobs, was very proud of the iPad Air product and was sad that Steve never saw it released. If you didn't know, Steve Jobs sadly passed away two years before in 2011, two years before the iPad Air release. The point is you can see that Apple are working on products right now that we will see in 2022, 2023, 2024 and maybe a little bit more beyond that as well. On top of this, I just want to say with leaks being early and to be fair any leaks even up to the iPad's release date that I find and show to you guys, a lot of previous leaks for other Apple products have come true but there are some that sometimes get misinterpreted based on the facts that the leakers have been told. I can only present to you what I've been told and shown. No leak or rumour is 100% true until we see the final iPad Pro being shown officially from Apple. However, if you are like me and you're also watching this video, then you are curious as I am in knowing what the next generation iPad Pro is going to be like and want to know what the latest leaks and rumours are, no matter what they tell us. With that out of the way, let's talk about the channel giveaway and then do the release date, summary of models and also the prices. 
So, just quickly guys, recently this channel got over 300,000 subscribers, what is absolutely amazing. So in celebration of this, I've decided to do a giveaway of this. It is an iPhone 13 Pro Max and it is in white silver and it's a 256 gigabyte model option. So recently I've given away a Sierra Blue one when we got over 300,000 subscribers and I'm going to be giving away this iPhone 13 Pro Max when we get over 350,000 subscribers. And all you need to do to enter into this international giveaway is just write down in the comments below of what Apple gear you're planning to buy in 2022. Write it down in the comments below and also at the same time as well, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell because I'll be revealing who the winner is when we get over 350,000 subscribers via a video and you won't want to miss that notification for that video. Now quickly I just want to mention as well, sadly there are a lot of scammers and spammers out there who use my face for example and also tell you to WhatsApp them. This is not me and I'm afraid they're not giving away any giveaways out there. I'm the only one who's doing the giveaway and you can make sure it's me by seeing that there's a tick next to my actual name and also like I said that any comments or anything will have that tick but the actual giveaway itself will be on that actual video when we get over 350,000 subscribers, not before. Well, with that out of the way, let's return back to the video. So release date is next. In 2021, we saw the debut of the 2021 iPad Pro at the Spring Loaded event that was April 20th. However, we couldn't get our hands physically on that iPad Pro until a month later on May 21st. Now in previous years, like last year, we had Craig show us in 2020 the new iPad Pro on March 18th, what was a Tuesday, but the release date was actually on Friday, March 27th. The iPad before that was in 2018 and was released on November 7th. However, in 2019, we got the iPad mini 5th gen and the iPad Air 3 released on March 18th. Now remember it is very early days but based on recent year's release dates we believe the 2022 iPad Pro M2 at this stage will likely be announced at the end of March to mid-April and either have a release in April or May 2022. But with Covid and other matters affecting chipsets being created for demand it is believed that we will see a release date for next year around the same time as this year but it may be a little bit earlier on in 2022. 2022 than the end of May. So let's move on and do a summary of what the 2022 iPad Pro models are most likely going to provide us at this stage. So starting out with the 2022 iPad Pro 11 inch model, we're expecting it to have the same shape body again as like we've had in the last couple of years. We do not believe that Apple are going to refresh this design just yet. However, what is going to be put inside the iPad Pro M2 11 inch is with its display, we're going to get some changes. We're now actually going to be getting a mini LED XDR liquid retina display, what is a first for the 11 inch iPad Pro M2. The resolution will be exactly the same as the 11 inch models that we have at the moment, it will be 2388 by 1668 and we will also get that ProMotion 120Hz display on the 11 inch iPad Pro. This is the first time the iPad Pro has had a big upgrade in its screen technology and we're really excited to hear that this is possibly going to be coming in the latest leaks that we've been hearing. For storage, it will be starting out at 128 gigabytes. This is the same as the 2021 iPad Pro, but the other options available will be 256 gigabytes, 512 gigabytes, one terabyte and two terabyte storage options all over again. We will also be getting that brand new M2 chipset inside the iPad Pro 2022 model and that will give us an 8 core CPU at the stage and also the potential of a 10 core GPU what is going to be a big upgrade on the M1. There will also be 5G connectivity and we've also heard that there's going to be ultra wideband technology put inside this iPad Pro as well. 
Then also at the same time, there will be a choice of 8GB or 16GB of RAM, depending on which storage option you pick. You won't have the free range to pick, like what we have right now this year. Depending on which storage you pick, it gives you a higher amount of RAM or a lesser amount of RAM. The body again will be made out of aluminium because it's basically the same design as last year's or this year's model and then also at the same time there will be a double camera and lidar sensor very similar to the 2021 ipad pro for battery size it will stay the same again with a 7538 milliamp battery for prices, the 128 gigabytes of the smallest range will start at 799 US dollars, and this will go all the way up to the 256 gigabytes at 899, 512 at 1099, 1 terabyte at 1499, and 2 terabytes at 1899 US dollars. Next of all, we have the 2022 iPad Pro 12.9 inch model. Again, not much is going to be changing here. We are believing at this stage that we're going to be getting the same design all over again. So even the current screen that we have right now, the XDR display, so the mini LED XDR display is going to be staying in this iPad Pro, at least for this generation. We may be getting an OLED display in the next generation, but for now it's staying with the current screen type. The screen resolution is going to stay the same as the 2020 and 2021 and 18 resolutions. So that will be 2732 by 2048. Again, it will be a pro motion display with a 120 hertz refresh rate. Storage again is going to be staying the same, starting at 128 gigabytes, going all the way up to two terabytes of storage. We'll be getting that new M2 chipset, what I already previously mentioned, that will be giving us 8 core CPU and an up to 10 core GPU according to the latest leaks. But this could change, remember that guys. We're also going to be getting 5G connectivity inside it and also ultra wideband as well inside the iPad Pro M2. There'll be a choice between 8GB or 16GB of RAM depending again on which storage options you pick. So if you go for more of the top end sort of storage like 1 or 2 terabytes, you'll be getting 16GB of RAM. But if you go for the lower specs at 128GB or 256GB of storage, you'll only get 8GB of RAM. As the design is going to be staying the same, it's going to be the same aluminium frame body. And then on the back there will be a double camera setup and LiDAR sensor. There isn't too many leaks or information on how that camera setup is going to look right now but the second any leaks come in I'll let you know. For battery size it'll be exactly the same again it will be a 9720 milliamp and this is the same size what's in the 2021 iPad Pro. Prices start again with 128 gigabytes at 1,099 US dollars, 256 gigabytes at 1,199, 512 gigabytes at 1,399, 1 terabyte at 1,799, and 2 terabytes at 2,199 US dollars. So that's an early picture summary of the 2022 iPad Pro. But my wishes for the iPad Pro this time round is not more to do with the actual physical iPad Pro, but actually to do with the iPad OS. I am hoping in 2022 that the operating system for the iPad OS won't fully mirror the likes of iOS, but be designed with more of a look and feel of Mac OS inside it. If this would ever come true, I do not know, but it is something from my point of view that I would love to see. As at the moment, the iPad Pro with iPad OS 14 and 15 even, it feels like I've just got a giant iPhone and it doesn't feel that special in operating system wise. But let me know your thoughts if you agree or disagree with this and also write in the comments below what your wishes would be for the iPad Pro in 2022. Well guys, it's time to wrap up this video, so if you have enjoyed watching it, please make sure to like the video and at the same time, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews and comparisons, please make sure to hit the subscribe button followed by the notification bell. Until next time guys, I'll see you soon.